In this exercise, you will learn wire bending of two basic shapes, the zigzag shape and the curved shape. You will need a bird beak plier, 0.7 mm road stainless steel wire, cutter and a permanent marker. Begin by straightening the wire. Hold the wire between the two beaks of the plier. With your non-dominant hand, pull the wire against the curve multiple times until it's straightened. Check the wire on a flat surface before proceeding. To start bending the zigzag shape, hold the wire against the sheet of paper. Mark the first bend on the wire using the permanent marker. To make the first bend, hold the wire between the beaks of the plier, just after the mark that you have pointed earlier. Hold the wire against the flat end of your plier. With your thumb and index finger on the non-dominant hand, bend the wire against the flat end, forming an acute angle. Check the angle on the drawing, making sure that the angle is correct. To begin the second bend, mark the wire on the second angle with a permanent marker. Repeat the same process for the following bends. When bending the wire, make sure that it stays on the same plane. This means that the wire should lay flat on a piece of paper every time you put it back. When you're finished, mark the length of the wire and use the cutter to cut the excess length. To cut the wire safely, hold the wire on both ends between your fingers and cut. This is to avoid having any wire fly away while you do the step. When you're finished, put the wire back on the sheet and secure it with a small piece of utility wax on both ends. To begin with the curve shape, start first with a straightened wire, as demonstrated previously. Bend the initial 90 degree bend against the flat end of the plier. To make the curve, remember that curves are formed from a series of small bends that are very close together along the wire. Start by marking the first bend on the wire, hold it between the beaks of the plier and start by making small curves along the way. Checking every time that the curve is correct with each bend. Repeat the step until you finish the shape of the bow, making sure that you don't change the plane of the wire, keeping it flat on the surface.
When you're finished, cut the wire safely as demonstrated and then secure it with utility wax on both ends. This is the end of the exercise. Thank you.